How often are, are you being briefed on this, uh, Mr. Chairman? Is, is it almost daily? Well, or? we've been asking. We've been we're trying to set up a briefing for all the members of Congress. I mean, my staff obviously is aware of it because you know we deal with uh, right. uh, health concerns on a regular basis. Um, but I, I think the biggest concern I have right now, to be honest, is that there's a lot of misinformation out there. That's why I wanted to be on your your program this morning, particularly on social media. And I really think it's important for social media, you know, to try to get a handle on this misinformation because, you know, people hear all these things about, you know, how this is a major epidemic that's going to impact the United States. And, and, and so I think right now it's important for me and others to say, let's not panic. You know, our, our health uh, agencies believe uh, that this is something that right now is not a serious threat to the United States. Right, but it'd be nice to, to have a, a high degree of confidence in our people at airports and ports and, and elsewhere that uh, that you're screening uh, high-risk individuals and, and that, you know, we're, there's oceans between us. We ought to be able to handle this if we have a lot of confidence in, in authorities. Do you, and uh, I you, think we should. You know, obviously they are screening people, particularly people that come, if they're coming from that uh, Hubei province, whether it's Americans or others that travel abroad, they will be, they will be screened when they come in. But um, the information that I have right now is that we shouldn't, you know, panic. Um, and the biggest concern is um, that there's a lot of misinformation, not on, you know, broadcast and cable like yourselves, but on social like media. What, what, what's the most um, inflammatory stuff that's untrue that, that you're talking about? Well, I think the biggest, the, the biggest concern right now is that we don't really know what this coronavirus is. In other words, um, you know, there's not a lot of information. And I think that goes back to what Dr. Gottlieb said is, you know, you're dealing with Beijing, which is not a free, transparent society. So, you know, whatever information you get or I get uh, from Beijing is always suspect. Um, and so we need to know more about the virus itself and, you know, how it's transmitted, uh, you know, what's the impact. Uh, and there's not a lot of information about the coronavirus right now. Yeah, that, that's why, I, you know, I, they certainly sometimes in, in China might be, uh, you know, talking about, you know, don't panic and maybe being complacent. I'm just I don't want us to make the same. No, I agree. Here. But yeah. I'm just trying to explain, you know, particularly for business people, because and that's what you focus on. Yeah. that, you know, they shouldn't feel that they can't go to the country at all. They, but they do need to stay away from uh, Hubei province. Okay.